Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy, and today we finally got the trailer for Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. If you're watching this on my main channel and you don't know about my second channel, my gaming channel, I have been doing a show where I've been following the progress and making of this film, and we've got up to like 85 or so episodes now, and I'll put a link to that channel down below in case you want to see more Resident Evil content. It's all on my gaming channel. Since it's mature rated, I figured smart to keep it over there so we can keep this channel PG-13. All right, so without further ado, Let's check this trailer out. Every story has a beginning. All right. Oh, oh cool. Hunk. Is that Hunk? Or Page of Hunks? Oh, September 30th. All right. Sweet. Why are you back here, Claire? Discover the origin Your conspiracies of people. weren't true when we were kids. They're not true now. Your conspiracies? To expose Umbrella. Okay, so. Watch this. So I guess as a kid, she's no. So maybe the orphanage thing is true. Umbrella, they have an incident. Oh, there's Birkin, Jill. Oh. People are getting sick. Whoa. Oh, the truck driver. Oh. You gotta help us, Claire. Let the world know what's really going on. Who is that? Who's that guy talking there? There's Birkin. Whoa, whoa. We have to continue. Wait, what's what's this song? <laughs> Whoa. Look at the Spencer Mansion. Whoa, okay. Where's Birkin? What are brother doing here? This is where they're experimenting on him. Whoa. Sorry, I'm a little speechless. <laughs> this section, some of these shots look really good. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh, hey, there's Richard. Oh, dang. Itchy tasty. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa, there's. Okay. Holy cow. Ah, oh, the dog. Nice. We're gonna take Umbrella down. Jeez. Whoa! What is that thing? Oh, a liquor! Oh, that's great. That liquor looks good. Wow. Okay. I. I mean, there's. There's a lot to break down there. I mean, I ha I have to go through that again, shot by shot. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to do, I'll have to do a breakdown. I'll just take some of my favorite screenshots from this trailer and we'll have to discuss it in the next episode. I'll definitely do that. I, I, I mean, there's so much here to unpack and my brain just couldn't uh, see it all. It happened, some of it happened so quickly, um, but it's a well-cut trailer at least, I, I think. Uh, um, there is some shots that I don't think are very strong looking, uh, but there are some that look very strong looking, very atmospheric. And, uh, and they said, you know, the director said he wanted this to be set in the rain for most of it. He wanted this kind of um, gloomy look to the movie, and it definitely has that. And so it makes it stand out from the previous films. And there, it looks like there's some action in it, of course, but um, it looks like there is some horror elements too, like more so than the previous ones. But again, that's just how the trailer's cut. We don't know until we see the full movie. But seeing some of these characters in action is, is neat. Uh, I didn't see enough Jill in there. I don't think we saw Ada at all. So that's that's kind of a, a bummer for me because I wanted to see Ada in action and kind of see what her role might be. I think we saw Sherry Birkin. We definitely saw William Birkin um, a couple times. And Chief Irons, I don't know well, like what he's just in the garage with the you know something chasing him and stuff. Maybe the the dog or something. So uh, so I don't know how much of him we'll get in the movie either. So I'm I'm curious. Like this isn't enough to go off of for the story, and that's kind of what I'm most intrigued by is the story with Res Evil. Uh, but it, but it, we get enough. It, se it seems like Claire had some conspiracies when she was a kid, and I guess no one believed her, including her own brother Chris, which is interesting. Um, and I guess they're going to peel back the layers and learn that Umbrella is actually behind stuff, because it seems like, like I said, their parents might have uh, ha might be dead, and they grew up in an orphanage in Raccoon City, so they have a connection to this town. Because uh, I'm guessing that's Chris's house she was at too when she went to visit. And uh, and she brings a tape to him saying, like, there's something going on and I want to get to the bottom of it. And it shows scenes with her and Leon at the orphanage. So uh, I, I'm curious. So, like, is Leon someone who's just a rookie cop at the RPD that 
here's Claire's story and wants to help, you know, since the stars are a, a special forces team. Um, how quickly does the zombie outbreak happen? Do we get to know some of the inhabitants of Raccoon City before it all goes to hell? Like in this movie, like I've, I have so many questions because uh, this trailer only gives us snippets. So we'll do a breakdown. I'll have that video up for you guys soon after this one. And we'll go through and just take a couple screenshots of the trailer and discuss those in the next episode. But for, for now, I want to hear your thoughts because as of me watching this video, there is... Uh, it, the ratio is pretty close. I mean, there's like a little bit over a thousand likes on this video for IGN's version, and there's a couple hundred dislikes already. So it's, it seems like there's going to be a mixed bag with reactions to this. So if you have a, a reaction that's different to mine, whether it's positive or negative, if you're more excited than I am, or if you're way less excited, whatever it is, if you saw the shots that, you know, and it's enough for you to, to make up your mind, you know, to me, trailers, like seeing images, it's hard for me to base something off an image. I can certainly have an opinion on it, but I like to wait and see things in motion because of, you know, past movies like, you know, Heath Ledger Joker and other things that the images that were released first just didn't look good, but then the trailer made it look good. So I feel like some of this looks better than some of those images we saw, but also some of it seems like on par with the images we saw. So I'm kind of a little bit uh, more divided, uh, you know, than I was before, but I still overall liked some of the imagery I saw here uh, more than I disliked. So, uh, but I'll, I'll, we'll break that down more as we go through the, you know, the breakdown and we'll go through the, the, you know, shot by shot. And I won't do screenshots of every, you know, shot of this trailer because there's a lot of stuff going on, but I'll at least tip, pick some of my favorites and we'll discuss in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.